Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about practice problems week 5 called TRY or TRY, whatever you think it's best. So basically in this practice problem we're going to understand how can we manipulate a TRY and then we're going to understand how it works. Basically the TRY is already working but we have to do some things in here. Let's see what is the goal of the problem. So basically we're going to decide the name of a dog. So let's suppose we are adopting a dog and we don't know what name to give. So our goal is we're going to read a TXT file that we are receiving here that has named dog names which we contain 152 names in here and we're gonna ask our program to check if that name exists in our file if it does great it will appear found if not it will display a message saying that we don't have this word but we're not manipulating txt file in here our goal is, this is not the point itself our goal is to use our try to store the name of all the dogs we have in our txt file and then we can search in this try the name we're looking for so before we understand here what we have in our hands and the main idea of the problem in coding let's understand how a try works and how it will work in our scenario here one thing that is important to notice is that basically our try will contain our root try will contain the 26 letters we have in the alphabet and according to what is the first letter of each name we're going to start creating the branches so for max we're going to have a branch for for bob we're going to have another branch so we're going to have multiple branches for different names let's understand how try works our node contains two properties, a boolean that says if it is a word, and we will implement this to true at the end of the name of the dog, and an array of pointers to other nodes of the same type. At the very top, we have our root node. Here we have an array of 26 pointers that represents each letter in the alphabet. Our goal is to store the name of the dogs in this tree, which all the first letters will be based on the root node. Then we will create branches in our tree to write all the names of our dogs. Let's insert the name Max in this tree. We start at the root and we go to the index of our pointers array that represents the letter M, which is 12. So we know that 12 means M in our alphabet. So if I want to proceed down to that path to insert this element into the tribe, we have to malloc the new node in position 12 of our pointers array. Now we need to store the second letter of max, that is A. The index to letter A is 0, so in the node we currently are, we will point the element on the array on position 0 to a new node. Finally, we need to store the last letter of max, that is X, which has index 23. Then our element on position 23 of our pointers array will point to a new node. This last node we just created means that we finished our name. So we won't point to another node, we will point to no, and we will change the is word property to true. Now let's work with another example. Let's suppose we want to insert the name me. We have to start from our root node and see what is the index of our first letter, which is M. As we saw previously, the position in the array is 12. We are already pointing to a node in the letter M because in our previous example we were working with the name Max, so we don't need to create a new node. Then we need to check the last letter of the name Me, that is the letter E. Since E represents the position E in our pointers array, this element will point to a new node. Finally, since we finished writing our second name, this new node will point to No and we will change the is word property to true, which means we finish the word. Now let's think about another name like Pi. We have to start all over again from our root node and check what is the index of our first letter, P, which is 15. We go to our element on position 15 in our pointers array and point to a new node. In this new node, we will look to the element on our pointers array that represents the letter I, which is 8. This element will point to a new node. Since we reach the end of our name, this new node will point to no and we will change the is word property to true. So now we have a main idea of what is going on and what we're gonna do, so let's see what CS50 already did to us and then we're gonna think about what we have to solve. So I already make here the file and I will run debug 50 try dog names.txt. Remember we have to pass these two parameters. So first we're checking here the argument, if we're receiving two arguments, that is the name of the file and the txt file, so it, it is correct, we're gonna skip this if statement and we're gonna open up our file in that is our first uh, command line argument which is dogs, do, dogs name.txt as we saw in the previous lectures this is how we open a file and we check if we have something or not now we're gonna work with our root so remember every time we're creating a 
try, we have to start from our root node. Here, we see that we're creating a variable called root that is malloc size of node. So let's see what is node. We already created here a data structure, a data type called node. And node here, as we saw, has two properties. A Boolean variable that represents the property is word. And we're only always going to be true when we finish the word. And we have another property that it's an array, it's a pointer array that contains all the other 26 letters in the alphabet. So now remember that idea of the animation. Here we have the prototype of three functions and here we are creating our variable root that has type node. That's why here we're not defining what is the type of root. This root is already globally uh, created. So root here we are creating a space of memory, that's why we're using malloc, in the size of node. So once we run it in here, for now root now contains this memory. We're creating a random memory in our, a random address in our memory. Then we're going to check if everything worked fine. Here, since we have an address, this means that it isn't null, so we're going to skip this if statement. And now we're going to start creating here, we're going to start assigning in our root that the property is word is equal to false. So remember, we have two properties in our node. We have the is word and we have an array of pointers. So for now, we're initializing, we're setting that for node, is word is equal to false. And this makes sense because we only want to have is word equals to true when we finish a word. Since root is all the first letters for our potential names, this is correct. So here we are initializing as false and we're going to do a loop in the size of alphabet. Here size of alphabet is 26. So we're creating here in our root, we're now pointing all the array, all the pointers we have in our array to no. So we're doing exactly what we saw in the animation. We have our root with is word equals to false and all the pointers that represents letters from A to zero will be pointing to no. We don't have any node that will be a child to this. So I will skip this. Let's say the first element. So here in root, we have is word equals to false and children here. Now it's all pointing to zero, zero. And we're going to do exactly this. We're going to point here root children to zero, zero. Okay, so we're initializing our node. This is exactly what we're doing. Once we have our root, now we need to add words to the try. So now we have our first node. We're going to start adding the name in our try, exactly how we saw in our animation. So we're going to create a new variable called cursor and cursor has type node and we're going to start in our root. So remember, we are in our root. Now we're going to do a for loop of the and here we're going to loop through all the letters we have in our name. What is the first name we have in here? The first name is Bella that we have in our txt file. So we're going to start working with Bella. Bella has five letters, so we're going to do a loop into five letters in here. All right, so n equals to five. We're initializing a variable called index because we want to know what is the index we're going to start. Remember, we need to know what is the index in our pointers array to point for the next node in our branch. So here index we're using to lower. So to lower is a function that will convert any letter into lowercase, especially here, for example, Bella has capital B, so we're converting capital B to lower B, and we are subtracting by A. Because if you remember from uh, the previous two, le two weeks ago, we were working with ASCII table, and ASCII table represents the number that each letter has. So letter A here, we will know that it will be index 0, letter B here will be index 1, and so on, until letter Z is equal to 10 to 5, exactly how we saw in the animation. So here we're getting the index of the first letter, since here name on position zero is B. So our index will be equals to one here. Index equals to one. Now we're going to do, we're going to check if cursor children. So here, if we, our element on position B here is it's pointing to anything, we're going to create a new node. Okay. And this is exactly what's going on. So here we're creating a new node. So we're assigning, allocating a memory and here we're setting is word equals to false because we didn't finish the word and we're going to create all the pointers for this new node as we saw previously. Okay. So here we're creating creating this and now to finish uh, we need to point our root to our letter B so we created the new node now we need to point our root to this new node we just did and this is exactly what's going on all right now we're changing the cursor so now the cursor is not in the root anymore we're going to the curse from our uh, next from our new node we just created exactly like it is in the animation and here we're continuing our, our loop so now we're gonna work with the letter E that is the second letter of our word Bella letter E is on position 4 so index here will be 4 and we're gonna check if our uh, if in this node we already contains a node for the letter E. So remember that animation. This is the first time we're doing this. We're doing this. It's it's pointing to node. We're going to allocate a new memory and we're going to create this new node and we're going to initialize the pointer array to node and we're going to point our letter B to our letter E. This is exactly what's going on. And we're going to do this until we finish the word Bella. Once we finish the word Bella, 
we're going to go to our next word that is max and we're gonna fill in the next name okay so this is pretty much what is going what is working once we finish the word bella for example here once we finish the word bella our last node we're gonna point to true that means we finish the name so what is going on in here is exactly what we saw in the animation of creating new nodes and so on until we have a tree with all the names we have in our file now that we have that once we finish all of this let me jump to a point where we have our tree made our tree done so here we have our tree with all of the words we have in our txt file now we're gonna check the message that the user will type in if this word that the user is typing in exists in our try if it is we're gonna print found if not we're gonna print not found then we're gonna free the memory and close our file so our goal right now is to create this check function and let's think about how can we do this so in order to check if the name we are receiving when, when we're calling the function here is uh, exist in our try we have to check all the branches we have in here according to the letters we have of the word so here the get string will get a string from the user for example the word max or for example the word abba we're expecting to search a dog that has the word abba so what we have to do let's see here in this drawing this is our root so in the root we have all the letters in our in our alphabet 